So our first presenter today is Fabio Rojas of Venezuela. Fabio is a film scoring and performance major at Berklee College of Music, and he played for TEDx Boston 2010 and Somerville 2012, City Hall Plaza, Boston Symphony Hall, Berklee Performance Center, the Tito Puente Latin Music Series, BU Agonist Arena, and Harvard Square. This afternoon, he will be presenting, as he describes, traditional Venezuelan rhythms adapted for a jazz format. Please enjoy his presentation, A Venezuelan Approach to Drumming. Hello. How are you doing? Oh, yeah. Great. I am Fabio Rojas, and this is Rob Taylor on the bass. I'm going to be talking about Venezuelan rhythms on the drum set. I would like to start with a rhythm called Joropo. The Joropo is from the plains from Venezuela. Originally, the Joropo is played by Venezuelan Maracas, Venezuelan Cuatro, and Arpa Criolla, that is a smaller harp. So, I'm going to show you, I'm going to play for you this, how it sounds traditionally, so you have an idea of what I'm going to do later in the drum set. That's gonna go to my hi hat on the drum set. I'm gonna imitate the maracas. Like now, the harp plays the harmonic part and melody also. And originally, they used to play the, the, the bass part with a low string. Later, historically, the, it was substituted by the bass. So I'm going to play the bass part on the bass drum. I'll show you in a second, okay? And the cuatro is going to be a charrasquillo. I don't know how you say that, but I'm going to do it in the left hand. Let me show you. phrases in 3-4 for a certain time, like 16 bar phrases. Then we do a 4-4 four, four switch and go to 6-8 and we change the accent to 6-8 and then we come back. Sounds a little crazy, but we're gonna play it for you. Rob. We're gonna play a tune called El Cruzado and I'm gonna accent, accent the the one of the six eight, and then I'm gonna ask him the the one of the three four. I hope you get it. <laughs> and dance it. Thank you. 
style how we would play switching and switching and switching and dancing. You need to dance. Okay. Uh, this is like a very a very short version of the Joropo because I want to get into the Onda Nueva and the Onda Nueva comes from the Joropo. Okay? So what is Onda Nueva? Okay. In the 60s, after the boom of the Bossa Nova in Brazil in the 50s, uh, there were some Venezuelans that wanted to do something similar with Venezuelan music. These guys were El Pavo Frank Hernandez, well-renowned drummer. Uh, he passed already uh, Alemano Romero, Jack Bronson, and another musician that I don't remember the name. But, yeah. So, they, they took elements from the Bossa Nova, that is in two, and they took the Joropo, and this drummer, um, he studied jazz also, and he applied stuff from swing. So, being the Joropo, like this, one, two, three, 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 like that, the Bossa Nova, being like, he took and mix it up, and he, he made this pattern called On the Nueva. And the elements of the swing, he added the, the hi-hat in, like in two and four, when you're playing swing, but as it's in three, it goes one, two, three, 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 and then it goes like this. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay? So it's like a more modern way and you can adapt it to a jazz format, format more easily. So I wanted to show you how you can adapt this for your music, like a jazz standard. We, 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 we're going to play a standard called Whisper Now. Uh, it's a swing standard, but we adapt it in 3 4. And to show you how you can use this rhythm to, to fusionate with your own music and make another stuff. Alright? Let, Let me show you.
in Caracas, there were street musicians playing around for parties and serenades, and they used to have a bunch of instruments and a snare drum, strap up the snare drum. They weren't trained musicians, so that's where it comes if it is five or six. So they used to play berengues in two four. This, this was a music for dancing. So they, they were doing this. always a party, they, they played, they didn't play quite in two or quite in five. So they like, uh, still danceable, but not quite or two or in six. Let me show you an example of this. with the clip and all, all the produce and all that. So, 
right now is more played in Venezuela in, in 5 8. And that will go like this. One, two, three, four, five, 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 one. Now, the bass is not going in one. The bass goes in two, three, and five. So I will do that in my right foot. Let me show you. One, two, three, four, five, one. Do you want to dance? Yeah. <laughs> okay, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. That will be the pattern for the drum set. Now, uh, there's a typical hit that we do in the five, not in the one. When we're playing one, two, three. We used to accent the part. No, we, we, we accent the one, but not too much. Mostly the part. So let me show you an example of that. I'll play a little similar, more modern kind of stuff inside. One, two, three, four, five, 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 one. composed by Aquiles Baez and played by the Quattro Trio. So, I... Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I show you how it's traditional play. Now, right now, with what I have studied at Berkeley, uh, I like to adapt it to a more jazz format and add backbeats as a more fusion way. So, what I do, Keeping the second in my head, I do like going for you. I go to the right. As a teacher from Venezuela told me, Diego Maldonado. And I will do something like this. Then open it more.
in terms of soloing for the for the drum set, uh, my teacher Diego uh, gave me an idea as different rhythms in drum set. We we do the ostinatos in samba. We do the kums, 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 and keep that on the foot. So what I use for for the merengue, I keep the 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 bass drum and the hi hat going in one, two, three, four, five, and I in the upper part I try to do whatever I want. Let me show you that. Okay, let's clap the one. Would you like to clap the one? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. talk about the instrumentation as I did with the Joropo, okay? Now, the tambor campana or clarín is a high pitch. That's the one who solos. Alright? There's some amaracón that says 
it gives a one. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. I will do that in my head. Now, uh, there's also a charrasca, and they do one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, chick, 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 Adaptation, I will play his adaptation. His adaptation goes like this of the same rhythm. Let's clap. One, two. Let's clap this. One, two, three.
Drive these winners and take it with you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Amazing bass player and Mr. Rob Taylor. Hey, hey.